Super excited about this. I know that this is going to inspire some of you guys as you're looking at your rigs and thinking, how can we just make this space more ours? How can we make it be more what we want it to be, to be functional for what it is that we're wanting to do? So you're going to get some inspiration, I know, off of what we're going to be showing you here in the next coming few videos. Okay, so one of the big things that we're going to be doing in here is this whole hole. Now, what this is, is this is where that there was a TV at one point that was the big, huge, like tube style TV when we first bought this. This is what was here originally from 2004. So we pulled that out and we had just like a flat screen TV that we had attached here but we're just not big TV people. So we've since pulled that out and we've just kind of been using it a little bit for storage, but it's not very efficient storage. The way it's set up is just a big, huge gaping hole. So this is first up on the mod list and this is gonna be transformed into something super, super cool. So make sure that you stay tuned for the final product because I'm so excited. Not He's ready. here. Today's the day. <laughs> Didn't put your makeup on today, or seriously? <laughs> Didn't get my wife to prep me. <laughs> makeup artist. <laughs> At least you had your cup of coffee at first, right? Yeah. Okay. Do you good. need more coffee? I'm good right coffee. now. Yeah, okay. I mean, I, I am Let a coffee person, but yeah, no. So far, I'm good. We'll keep we'll decaffeinated. See. My son slept, so that's a good thing. That is a good. Got thing. a full eight. <laughs> yeah. So now some of you might be asking, like, do you really need to do all of this RV renovation? And well, there's kind of a dual answer to that. No, you don't have to, right? But what we have found is after being in our RV for a little over three years, you really start to find out when you're living in it, what's working and what's not working. And because we do work from the road, and then of course with the kids and our travel style, we realize what's working and what we need to change to make it work better for us. So a lot of these mods that you're going to see in this video are things that we've learned aren't working that we want to change to make it work better for us. And also if you're in the process of either purchasing an RV or thinking about RV living, hopefully you'll get some inspiration for maybe what it is that you might want or what's gonna work best for you in your situation, whether you're working or not working on the road. The enclosure mm -hmm. and then the stove. Right. You know, those are like the first big things that you wanna get done. Right. Um, so we'll start with those okay. and get as much done over the next couple of days as possible. Okay. And you know, I'll just keep moving. Okay. Um, and we'll kind of get as much of it done as we can on this first step until, you know, we meet up again. So he's got this out and went to get some parts. But what I'm seeing here with this big hole. The hole doesn't bother me. I am just already feeling like with that gone, how much more open this is. Yeah. Like that is the amazing part is that we had this big thing that was blocking so much of the view for so long. Mm -hmm. Like how amazing is this going to be getting the view back? I mean, right. I want to sit on the chisel. Yeah, you can like sit down. But being yeah. able to like, like this is amazing. It's like I you see, see the whole thing. How like dirty the windshield is. <laughs> probably this much. Um, oh, it was taking up a huge amount. Yeah. Like this, this already makes this like RV that is older feel more modern. Cause I think that when we look at some of the newer RVs, one of the things that you see in the more modern RV is things are more trim and sleek and, and you know, just lined nicely as far as all of your lines are nice. And this is gonna just make things very nice from just like a angles and lines and aesthetics perspective. Ooh, I'm so, this is exciting! I know. And I'm so, so cool. glad we have Stuart helping us because I don't know that we would be able to come up with some of these concepts on our own very well. So, yeah, no, he's really brilliant when yes. it comes to, you know, thinking of how things could work and, you know, just you give him a task and he's like, yeah. Brilliant! I figured if I'd make enough noise, you'd come out. Yep. <laughs> I heard the demolition going on.
Get ready for it. Get ready for it. Get ready for it. I'm just glad that Stuart's doing the cutting and not me. Right? That's all I'm going to say about that. Me, right me too. Well, he so. is well fit. <laughs> I know. You know right. can, can you get it right the first time, maybe? I'm about to make you both feel Special way better. Twice cut once. Let's see. <laughs> Did it work? There's a lot of places to where I just kind of finesse because sometimes it's easier to do that. One, yeah. one cut and you know, it fits perfect. Nice. <laughs> wow. That's impressive. That's why you meant fits. twice cut Sweet. once. Right there. It took like 18 takes the last time. <laughs> Finally got it on this one. <laughs> In overall, I think Fleetwood's a pretty good product, pretty good RV. Good. Yeah, like I said, just to take out this TV counter, it was probably 20 some screws just to get that out. Plus they had a steel strap going from the roof all the way around it to, to support it even more. Hold to make sure it's gonna look okay. Up. Day two of RV reno and I'm probably more excited about this reno than the last one because it doesn't require much of me other than to show you guys what's going on because <laughs> I'm not the one doing the work this time. Last time that we did RV reno I seriously was a hot mess for probably a good solid month. I mean there were days that my hair didn't get brushed just saying. Not so this time sleeping great, feeling great, because Stuart's doing all of the work. So we're gonna have to go see where he's at right now. <gasps> oh my oh, God! Whoa! Did I scare you? <laughs> 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 like, look at this! Look at what's going on in here! <gasps> wow! Look at that. Do you need help? No. Okay. <laughs> like, do you need another hand? It's one of those. Uh, this is going to be you know, amazing. Figuring out how to put things together when absolutely nothing is even remotely square with one another. <laughs> well, so. that's an RV for you. I don't think anything is square in these oh, things. Oh yeah. Every, and the minute it is, an it flexes. <laughs> everything's at a different height, and it's going to be uh, fun getting everything back together. Cool. Okay. Well, I'm glad it's uh, your job it's to figure idea. out. And <laughs> <laughs> This was supposed to be easy. <laughs> Never is. Okay, day three of RV reno and pretty excited with what I was seeing last night. But I'm also really hoping that we didn't make a mistake in deciding to let the propane stove go. Gave it a lot of thought, but now actually seeing it not in the RV and realizing that I'm going to have to commit to really understanding how the convection oven works better hoping that that wasn't a mistake that I am going to live to regret later because once this is done, it's not gonna get undone. We'll keep you posted. Just make sure that you hit that subscribe button to watch future videos because I'm sure I'm gonna have feedback on uh, if I live to regret this or if I am going to be very happy with the decision that we made. I took the stove top off. Oh, okay. So this is gonna be more fun than I initially thought. We are gonna have to cut the counter. Okay. So. Okay just to uh, get it to, to fit down in here. We'll have to trim this lower section and upper section. Okay. So that's gonna be fun. Yay! More fun! Yep, everything's fun. Everything's off by like a quarter of an inch. It's like that was so close to dropping in and I'm like... <laughs> You're like, of course! Yeah, it has to go of that course. route. It always does. This is why you do this. You like a challenge though, right? Sometimes. Not all the time. <laughs> like, like there's bad news coming. No, no, no not necessarily okay. bad news. It's a little bit different than what you guys were initially wanting because now you were wanting to use like, the countertop covers for right. that. Yeah. Well, because of the width and everything else, with how the counter would have to be cut, we can't we can't use them. Okay. Um, plus, kind of with what we were thinking, because we're gonna have like this big void either in yeah. the front or the back of it. Right. We could utilize the one to kind of fill the counter space, because the next option is going to be kind of almost replacing the entire counter, you know, to get it to yeah. not look pieced in right. and, and whatnot. So yeah. obviously going, do that. yeah, so going it's, like this style, we would utilize this kind of build a frame, you know, cut it down. So uh -huh. this kind of sits down. Just recessed. Yeah. And it will, you know, we would be able to get it to where it sits down in this groove. You know, okay. So it will still sit flush with the counter. Perfect. Um, so you do like a, you know, a big, you know, uh, cutting board or something else on the top of it just yeah. to kind of protect it. Right, right. So there was a board already here, right? You yeah, I was kind of shocked. I mean, obviously the furnace is underneath it, so yeah. they at least were nice enough to separate them. 
Cool. Okay. I was wondering if there was going to, like, how big the hole was going to be that was Yeah, there. a lot of the times there's no boards. You usually pull them out and it's just a, it's just you know, a bit a big, to, huge... to whatever, you know, wire right. mess yeah. there is below it. Yeah. Cool. Well, He's thinking one of those little roll things. You roll it out. Yeah. Give you some storage. Yeah. So I kind of need an idea as far as what you plan on putting under there, you know, toast driving pots, pans, that type of stuff. So we can yeah. kind of set the shelves to the best heights. Mm -hmm. Pots and pans would make the most sense. These drawers are so, so narrow, narrow, you can't fit a silverware tray in there. Okay. So. So maybe do like a, you know, yeah. directly underneath the induction top, like a silverware drawer. Yeah. Thing. If there was like, if we could do a drawer that way I could put the silverware in and then just, you know, like some sort of rack or something for pots and pans would be amazing. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is amazing. It really Looks seriously so is nice. amazing. I know. This is way better than what we would have come up with. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Ours would have been like some cardboard, some ply. Well, it kind of was sense. some cardboard. <laughs> it was before. That was our mm -hmm. solution. Shove a box in there. Do you yeah. want to reuse your solution? Yeah, right? <laughs> Here we go. Here's the door, cardboard. <laughs> no, it's getting there. I don't know if he told you we're going to do like pegboard on the back and whatnot. Oh, just for, uh, so I, I, I showed him my camera organization mm -hmm. and then just kind of like, took it from there. So yeah. do that, so please. You had organization That's awesome. Envy. <laughs> yeah, it's like a little uh -huh. mini shop in the RV. Exactly. There'll be some lighting in there and whatnot. So. Oh my gosh. I'm Me so too. excited. This Me is too. amazing. I mean, all of the, oh, this is just, yeah. yes. Brilliant. I'm glad we have a Stuart. Yes. Because this would not have happened if it was just you and I. <laughs> not at all. We appreciate you, man. You're awesome. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you need to call Stuart. Call Stuart. Call Stuart. We pretty much got like the base of the cabinet back in and just kind of doing like the pegboard just so you guys have more, you know, room to organize and whatnot. And then we're going to put some lighting in the cabinet and from there we're going to go on to, uh, where the oven is and start cutting some countertops and whatnot. So that will be interesting. <laughs> awesome. So. Cool. I'm excited. Stuart mentioned to me that he is going to start to cut into the countertop where the induction cooktop is going to go. So uh, let's go ahead and go inside and uh, check it out and uh, see what it's going to look like. It's really coming along. I'm super excited about this. Let's go. been told there's progress we're gonna go find out so we're gonna go find out how the induction cooktop area is I'm so excited looky there this looks cool too yeah that's gonna work out perfect so i mean obviously it's not fixed in there yet Look at that, dude. Whoa. Is it like... That's not fixed. You can pull okay. it out. I didn't want to like pull it and no, have yeah, the whole thing come out. No, it's going to move around a little so, bit. Yeah. It's not fixed in there yet, but you can get the idea of it. It's two, oh two separate gosh. drawers. That's going to be perfect. I can put the silverware there. I can put the pots and pans down there. <gasps> Yay. So, um, what's the plan? Like, are you going to cut? Well, I have that partially cut. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to obviously inlay that. And then put that. it in. Yeah. Cool. Um, and there is enough of a gap underneath to where I think probably like honestly like a nice like plastic cutting board like the thin ones uh -huh. would probably end up actually fitting like the top of it and okay. like, protecting it pretty well. Nice. Yeah. yeah this, this is so exciting. I can hardly wait. I can hardly wait. No, oh, there, I love it's a, that. It's a fun little way to to organize some you know odds and ends and yeah. whatnot. Yeah. For sure, you can put like all your little cables or just whatever in there. Oh. Yeah. I mean. It's not leaving it open without any sort of cabinet door. It's definitely not an eyesore at all. Okay. Because it's not like it looked before where you've got insulation <laughs> falling down. And... I mean, I could show the cardboard back in. Yeah, no, it's okay. We're... I mean, I, I don't know if you're partial to that. You know. <laughs> cardboard and painter's tape. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I couldn't be happier with the way this turned out. Now, 
RV mods being what they are and when you're trying to kind of fabricate something where you have an idea in your head of how you think it's going to work out and that idea may always not play out in reality. So a couple of things really quickly with what Stuart did here that is just amazing. Number one, he repurposed this vinyl that was off of the old TV box so that everything matches underneath here. Now, one thing is that this was about the only sheet of vinyl that could be repurposed. And so our, our original idea was to put a cabinet door over this area to just close everything off. The problem that Stuart ran into and that you just run into sometimes when you're doing these types of mods is that there's not really a good way to attach any sort of cabinet door in here as far as nothing to attach it to on the sides or even up on the roof without building some sort of then maybe header and trying to cover it. And it just, it wasn't going to really be super feasible without trying to source more vinyl. It was going to be a road we didn't want to go down. So what we decided to do is actually to just leave it open as it is right now. There is a lip on here, so we're not going to have a problem with things falling on travel days. The other option that um, we were just considering and thinking is there's nets that you can get that I've actually been planning on ordering and there'll be a future video coming on that for sure. But different types of cargo nets that you can order custom measurements that work great for like RVs and boats and um, areas where you want to be able to secure things that you just need something custom for those dimensions. So potentially put up a net or something like that that we could put up during travel days if we think we need to. But with what we're planning on putting up here, it should work great. And then over here, one mod that is going to happen tomorrow when Stuart comes back is we're going to actually open this up a little bit and there's a lot of space that comes through here. So kind of some pass through storage here, but we can put our camera here while we're traveling on travel days and that will be then behind a closed vented door. So I could not be happier with how this turned out now versus what it was before. So super, super happy with this. Now on the stove, not quite finished yet. It's gonna get wrapped up tomorrow. So we'll have to show you that in next week's video. So make sure that you have hit that subscribe button there. But what we have got going on over here where the stove is gonna go, as really luck would have it, this particular like wire rack shelf is exactly like the dimensions of the old stove that we took out. So. If you have got a Class A motorhome with that Amana three burner propane stove, this will fit. And this is just from Home Depot. So um, we're gonna patch in some more counter over here. And then there will be like either a door or some sort of like drawer front to cover and secure this area. But I'm finally gonna be able to move my silverware here versus where I've had it in the past up above this, I used to have to fit in here because these drawers are just not big enough for it. So this is gonna be fun. And then I've got some things where I'm gonna line up just kind of my spices in the back. And then we'll be able to put all of our pots and pans and our blender and stuff here. So everything for cooking is gonna be right here. Everything we need for eating pretty much is gonna be just right here and this is going to be amazing so we will show you that in next week's video because this will be completely done and then we're hitting the road in two weeks so we'll really be able to put it to the test actually being back in the rv back on the road and really just using all of this why we're on the road and living in it again. Okay, so we are super happy with how the renovation is coming so far. We are pretty much done, well, when I say we, Stuart is pretty much done with the front media um, cabinet, I guess you'd call it, and then yeah. also almost finished up with the induction cooktop. Yes, and so, this is where, again, we couldn't have done this on our own. We're super thankful to Stuart yeah. for his help. 
We will put links below for his website. So he's a certified RV tech, he does inspections, and then he also does welding, some RV renovations. So living small, dreaming big, we'll put a link below so that you can check him out too. They are in Central Florida for a little while at least, so yeah. you can hit him up and see what he's got going. And uh, also, just a quick note, he can also do uh, grand design warranty stuff. So Ooh, just, that's good to know for yeah, all of our grand design the, friends. Yeah, let you guys know that. We're gonna put links for our last renovation right up here. So you can check out what that looked like for us last January as we attacked things on our own. So if we don't see you at the campground or on the road, we'll, we'll see, see you in, in the, the next video. video.